Okay, in today's video, what you're gonna see is a warm-up, all right? It's with Primary 4. I've been working with these guys a few years and they're really good in English and uh, we've got a great relationship. So let me just talk about warm-ups real quick. If you work with young learners in an ESL environment, or any environment really, but I'm in ESL, you need to realize that their life is just full of everything but what you're trying to do. Yeah, they're in the school or in the playground, they're at home, their head is just full of everything but what you want them to have in their head, which is an intent to learn and develop, right? So, warm-ups. It's, it's a way of getting authentic attention. Authentic attention, if you're not getting real genuine interest in what you're doing from the kids then their retention rate is going to drop and drop and drop so i love to use a lot of things like um, thresholds you know you're teaching threshold what part of the the school or the, the 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 area in which you're teaching is where your class begins at my place we have to make a line we'll do some kind of fun call and responses and then we'll enter the classroom on my terms so everyone's ready we'll have music playing in the background regularly that that will also help fill the gap fill up any dead air. We like to have music. I like to use timers. We like to use movement games. TPR, total physical response. That's a good way too. What you're gonna see today is a bunch of different games, just in warm-up. A warm-up should take probably five to 10% of your class. Not a massive amount, but five to 10% is great. So in a, in a 60 minute class, we're looking at six to 10 minutes. Yeah, get them in, get them moving. Uh, I think we're going to do in this video the WA game, we're going to do one house, one dog, we're going to do a bunch of different things and after that, the video after that goes into the content activity, right, which involves the vocabulary and the grammar of that day's lesson. So please keep liking, subscribing, sharing to everybody, all right, and uh, I hope you enjoy the video. Breathe out. You shake your shoulders. 
said, shake your head, said, it's a little bit early, move your bum a little bit, get ready, get ready, get ready. Uh, right, I think we can begin with Gatti. I know Gatti is like a shot Are you ready? Get your hands up. Three. Super ninja, quick. Whoa, that's One ninja. Three, two, one. Wah, wah. Four, three, and four. 
Write numbers 1 to 20 down the side. You're welcome, that man. Write numbers 1 to 20. You're welcome, thank you. Right, number one, twenty. As a team, who, which team can get all twenty words spelt correctly? Don't forget, sleeping bag is two words. Three, seven, four, go. Put some music on so you can listen to each other. They're doing. You in there, boys? Well done. You. How about you, Poodle? You helping the guys? You helping your team? Nice handwriting as well. Doing very quick. Oh, look at that. How about these guys over here? Wow. Doing great. You have 14 seconds. You have 12 more seconds. Let's be quick. So I dig Tata. Hey DJ, say hi mum. <laughs> oh, that's very nice. Okay, five, four, three, seven, five star listeners. <laughs> Raise your hand if your team got 20. Raise your hand if your team got 19. 18. 17. Oh, come on. <laughs> Start again. 20. 19. 18. 17. 16. 15. Okay, that's good enough for me. I think everyone's a winner. Give yourself a big pat on the back. And say, well done, me. Now, this is actually...